Here's a view from St. Pete Beach, a lovely looking day. We're going to have a good deal of sunshine and even a good beach day two days after Christmas. And we're looking at great weather to head out to see some sand and surf. Sunshine this morning, partly cloudy this afternoon, generally a dry day and a warm day with a high of 85. The water, the Gulf of Mexico is responding to the warmer temperatures. It was in the lower 60s, now it's 71. Almost warm enough to get back in, right? Well, my personal threshold is 80, so not quite there yet. If you're taking a boat out, a moderate chop and a southeasterly wind. So a good boating day. We're forecasting 85 today, which could tie or break the record for a third day in a row. So warm today, warm all week long, and then by next weekend, we're looking at temperatures back in the 60s, which is actually below average, and it's gonna feel kind of chilly considering we've seen temperatures so warm recently. I'm gonna token our Christmas that we just had, an Australian Christmas. The reason why is we're in winter time. We associate, you know, winter time with folks up north enjoying some snow and Christmas trees covered in snow and Santa landing on rooftops covered in a lot of cold conditions. Summertime right now in the Southern Hemisphere and they're used to experiencing Christmas with, hey, Santa surfing on a surfboard and other warm weather activities. Well, Mother Nature is all confused. We've had temperatures in the 80s in Florida the last couple of days. Australia, down under, it's in the 80s right now too. So summer, winter, apparently that doesn't matter anymore. We're looking at the same temperatures. This morning we're in the 70s, but we have some cold weather back to the Northwest that will be taking over and making it fill more like winter. Right now we're looking at temperatures below zero in North Dakota. All right, a lot of folks are traveling today. If you're traveling in the southeast, no weather problems. Delta's hub in Atlanta should be fine today. Up in the northeast, no major weather problems. New York, Philly, D.C., okay. A little bit of rain in Boston, and then it turns to snow up in Maine. But here's the big storm system. This is gonna cause some pretty disruptive weather through much of the Midwest. A lot of snow today in Texas and New Mexico. Severe weather today in eastern Texas, Louisiana, and Arkansas. And then some moderate showers stretching through southern Illinois and parts of Ohio. Not as severe as the weather happening to the south. Moving into tomorrow, that storm system moves north. You can see that line of storms stretching into Alabama. The white color represents snow, so a lot of snow for Iowa moving up through Wisconsin and uh, much of the areas to our north. Chicago could have some freezing rain and sleet, so kind of a messy weather scenario for folks to our northwest. This morning, a good deal of sunshine, nearly 20 degrees above average. This afternoon, partly cloudy skies and 85 degrees for high temperature. The last home game of the season, Chicago's taking on the Bucks. 81 degrees to start the game, 85 degrees to end the game. So a very warm day again, warm all week long with a very slight chance for a shower. A cold front on New Year's Eve is gonna cool us down to 20 degrees cooler by next weekend. Get ready to bundle up, Floridians.